Let's talk about up resolutions and adding details upscaling video today. We have a new framework based on WAN 2.1 for doing video resolutions. It's called Flash VSR. Flash VSR's unique part is that it's used for real-time streaming videos, so you can upscale the videos to two or three times the size of the actual streaming low-resolution video. And on this page here, as you can see, there are some examples showing what it's actually doing in abstract here. The cool thing about this framework is that it's consumer PC friendly because it's based on WAN 2.1's 1.3 billion size parameter model and it can generate video within one sampling step. The speed they're claiming is a 12 times speed up over other diffusion models doing the same test. One thing that really separates this framework from others is that they use an attention method called block sparse attentions, which is different from other video models dance attention methods for generating video. So we're going to check it out. How is this going to look different? Now, one way to run this video upscaling framework is to use their original GitHub repo, download the code, and implement the model weights. You download the model weights and implement them in your system, and it requires the block sparse attentions method to run in your setup. The second method is in Comfy UI. Well, in Comfy UI, there are two options you can use with this model. The first one, which I prefer to use but is more complex for normal users to install on your local PC or machine, is using Comfy UI Flash VSR. This uses the full model weight of this model, but it also requires the block sparse attention method that follows the same implementation as the official GitHub repo of Flash VSR talks about and also does their attention method for generating video. This way, as you can see, it's just a wrapper pipeline once you download the models and select those model weight files, it will be generating within Comfy UI, and this gives you the full potential of this model and all its features, which is very limited in the tiny version. Now, talking about the full model weight here, as I just mentioned, it's based on WAN 2.1's 1.3B model. It's very lightweight and small. As you can see, it's like 5 gigabytes of file size, and then there's the VAE, as well as two other additional model files for this framework. So another option you can use without doing all these installations and downloading the block sparse attentions, because the block sparse attentions require DeepSeed to be installed in Comfy UI environment as well, DeepSeed a deep learning optimization library. For most users here who are using Windows, this is quite difficult to do. Another option you can use is the Comfy UI WAN videos wrapper. A lot of people in this channel who play around with the WAN 2.1 and 2.2 AI video models have downloaded this to try out experiments and some new features from WAN Video's AI. Flash VSR was just added a few days ago in the WAN video wrapper, but one thing that has to be mentioned is that it doesn't use the block sparse attentions like the other Comfy UI custom nodes and the Flash VSR official Python code on GitHub. Therefore, it has some limitations and doesn't have the full potential performance of this framework yet. When you load the latest example workflow of this one, the author also mentions in the note that none of the sparse attentions and streaming stuff is implemented. However, this still gives results like this and might be useful. The important thing is that it doesn't match the original code's results currently. So basically, the Flash VSR that's currently in the WAN video's wrapper just converts those files into safe tensor files. But still, it's worth to experiment and looking forward to its update. From here, you see all these raw names of files that you can't remember the meaning of, like Diffusion PyTorch and that kind of name. Now, in the WAN video's Comfy Hugging Face repo, it's repackaged with more meaningful file names for you to recognize. Basically, that's what a normal user can think of, so that's the way it is for the current WAN video's wrapper. Yeah, you can still run this. There are some new custom nodes to use the Flash Video VSR model files, but it doesn't use the attention method of that. So just like in Sage Attention Flash Attention, you have those attention modes, right? And for Flash VSR, you need another mode to run it with crystal clear results, like what they mention on the project page. Here you see this crystal clear upscaling solution result. So there are two alternative ways to run upscaling in Comfy UI currently. One is the Seed VR2 from ByteDance, and the other one that I've tried and used is the WAN 2.2 Detailer, which I've talked about in previous videos.
Basically, it's using the WAN 2.2 low noise model as the base, and then we're receiving the input video as a video to video method, resizing it with 1.5 scale of the resolution, and basically doing a very basic minimalist V2V method here to add some detail, clear the resolution, and upscale the resolution as well. So there are two alternative ways I can think of between using the Flash VSR that's incompletely implemented here. And the other one I've tried, which is the Comfy UI Flash VSR that's fully implemented with the block sparse attentions. But the steps are kind of complex. I'll link that in the description below. So you guys, if you have technical backgrounds, you can check it out and install it yourself. Anyway, we're going to try out something with the new Flash VSR first. There are three models that are new to implement in Comfy UI. The first one is the Flash VSR base model from WAN 2.1's 1.3B model, which you're going to put in the model loader as the base in the WAN videos wrapper and add extra models using the LQ project mode. This is also seen in the official Hugging Face repo, which you see in the LQ project files, and going to the KJ WAN videos Comfy. Rename it as the WAN 2.1 Flash VSR LQ project model files. The third one is the TC decoder, which in the Comfy UI workflow is located in the WAN Vito decoder. Here, you can select the WAN Video Flash VSR decoder. Basically, this is located in the VAE folder. You can put the TC decoder in the VAE folder in Comfy UI. And this is the last part after your video sampling, sending the latent data to VAE decode. This is the part where the TC decoder runs. Now, as I've known in the Flash VSR model, they can also use the original WAN 2.1 VAE. As you can see in the official Hugging Face repo, they have the WAN 2.1 VAE as well to run the full potential of this AI model to upscale your video resolutions. This is higher quality to use. The TC decoder is like a lightweight, tiny version of this model that runs faster, basically. But the clarity of these models isn't going to perform as well as the full models using the VAE in WAN 2.1. Anyway, let's load a video and start running these three options for upscaling in Comfy UI, and you guys can check it out in terms of quality. For quality, don't expect the WAN 2.1 Flash VSR to get good results at this moment, but you can taste the speed of this generation. This is one step sampling. Yes, you can see this here, only taking one sampling step and generating the video output really fast. So as you can see here, I've generated all three results using that party video in the office. First, let's check out the Flash VSR output. Again, don't expect this to create a really high quality upscaling result because again, the implementation isn't complete yet. The second option we're seeing is the Seed VR2 by ByteDance. As you can see, upscaled to 180p resolution, and there's still some flickering in Seed VSR, and most of it is caused by sharpening of the edges of some objects. You might be able to fix those and upscale to 4K using Topaz, which would be perfect. So usually, the ByteDance Seed VR2 upscales to 180p, like this image to video result, and then you use Topaz to upscale to 4K to fix the detail stuff. The last option is the WAN 2.2 detailer that I've created in previous videos. I've made demos, and this demo shows here that the details have been refined a lot more. Basically, this method helps refine more details in your video. You see the character's face all around. The main character in the front is getting so clear with their facial expressions and how their face looks. Especially if you see, let's get into a view of this video first, and you'll see the difference. So as you can see in the first frames, just by the first frame you see the wall and background, that projector is polished a lot more, especially for that projector. Oh, the text and the graph are way more polished. And then in the seconds here, as you can see, all the character faces are refined a lot more clearly compared with the original AI generated video. It's getting a close look, even some details of the clothing as well. You see more pattern texture in there, and going to the video at 6 seconds and the last 7 seconds, all the character faces still remain so much better. So this is the WAN 2.2 detailer as the alternative that currently I'm using the most for refining videos. The K sampler I haven't turned up too much for the Denoy, just keeping it low at about 0.2.
The benefit of using this and the faster speed is that the latest versions of Lite X2 v LoRa models are able to help speed up the generations for 720p resolution, whereas the Seed V R2 by ByteDance is still okay in some video generations. But let's put it side by side to compare, and you'll see what the difference looks like with the same video and three different diffusion upscalers doing it this way. So starting from the left is the Flash VSR, the middle is Seed VR2, and the right side is WAN 2.2 Detailer. Right now, I would say the WAN 2.2 Detailer is doing the best in terms of quality for video because it's coming from video to video, and it's using the WAN 2.2 low noise models to process this, whereas the Flash VSR has very high contrast and some things still need the block sparse attention, which the WAN Video's wrapper hasn't implemented yet. So as you can see, the VSR 12K dataset here and the real-world video super resolutions that they call the comparison of this, it really looks different when you implement this following all the stuff from their project code. Even AI-generated videos like this doc are also enhanced way much better. So I hope the WAN video wrapper can be updated soon for this framework and we have clearer resolutions when we upscale to like 2K or 4K but it seems like they're only able to upscale a few hundred frames at this moment. So this is so far what I've seen from the three comparisons of Flash VSR. This is basically some of the performance I've tried with other videos. This is the first one I upscaled to 2K in this example for Flash VSR. It doesn't change any detail at all from my original video. This is like 2,400 pixels width already for this video's upscale. You see all the details of this birthday cake and these toy-like fairies flying on the side of this birthday cake. Well, I've tried this with another one of these Asian woman scenes, which with the same resolution, I upscaled two times or sometimes three times with 2,400 pixels. So that's going to be 2K resolution with this example, software generated with this Asian woman video scenes. This time, I tried it a little smaller size since it's just for demo purposes here. As you can see, the contrast, especially from the eye shadow, all the makeup on the face, it looks like, you know, after using the Flash VSR, it got more high contrast colorations. That's most likely what I see after the videos are generated using this framework. Other things, I don't see any additional detail editing or adding more details into the videos from this video upscaler or upscaling of resolutions. So basically, don't expect this to add more details into your videos and stuff like that. This isn't for adding detail, it's more for upscaling your video only. Well, can it be an upscaler like other upscaler methods you usually use in Comfy UI? I would say yes, you can combine this with other model upscalers to add details using those upscale models and then use the Flash VSR to upscale to enlarge the dimensions of your video. That way can help upscale to 2K resolution. I think these models can do it, but the high contrast thing? Yes, this model has to be fixed, or we have to wait for maybe an update of the WAN video's wrapper to implement this framework properly so we can see the full potential performance of this AI model. The beauty of this AI model is the one-step generation. As you can see, every video that I did in this demo is using only one sampling step. So let's check it out, see what they update later, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.